Hey everyone, welcome back to our GitHub Enterprise Managed User Series. In the last video, we set up a GitHub Enterprise account with managed users. Now let's take it a step further by configuring secure authentication with Microsoft IntraID using SAML 2.0 SSO. This integration improves security, simplify access management, and enhance authentication for your organization. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a SAML SSO fully configured and scheme provisioned. This means that instead of signing in GitHub Enterprise with GitHub Public Handler, your enterprise member will authenticate it through your Microsoft IntraID provider. Before we begin, ensure you have cloud admin access to Microsoft IntraID. The GitHub Enterprise Setup Admin, that is short code underscore admin username and password. Integrating Microsoft IntraID single sign on with GitHub Enterprise Manage User is three step process. First, we start with configuring IntraID. This is where we set up the identity provider, defining the SAML configuration, and ensure the necessary claim are mapped correctly to enable authentication. Next, we move to configuring GitHub Enterprise. Here, we establish the connection between GitHub and IntraID by importing the SAML metadata and fine tuning access control for your organization. Finally, the third step is to enable scheme provisioning. This ensures that the users and groups in your IntraID automatically sync to GitHub Enterprise, streamlining user management and access. Before enabling provisioning, we need to generate a scheme token. This token acts as a secure key to allow IntraID to manage users in GitHub Enterprise. Since a token inherits the same permission as logged in user, ensure you are signing as a setup user before generating it. Click on Generate Scheme Token. Use a classic access token, not a fine grain token, to authenticate Scheme API request. It's best to leave token without an expiration date to prevent unexpected access issue. Ensure that the scheme enterprise scope is selected. For better security, I recommend not granting additional permission and use this token exclusively for scheme configuration. Click on generate token. Ensure you store the token securely as it won't be visible again and we shall be using this while configuring scheme. Click on continue to set up. If your GitHub Enterprise account is set up for Enterprise Managed User, you must configure an external identity management system to provision and manage user accounts. Instead of using GitHub username and password, Enterprise member will authenticate via their IDP. Click on Enable Single Sign-On. Single Sign-On authentication can be implemented either using OpenID Connect or Security Assertion Markup Language. Let's explore which single sign-on method works best for your enterprise. If your organization uses Microsoft IntraID, OpenID Connect is the recommended option. It's the best choice for the cloud-based application, API, and modern authentication. Supports conditional access policy in Microsoft IntraID, allowing multi-factor authentication, risk-based access, and compliance check, faster authentication, and easier implementation compared to SAML. Work seamlessly with modern identity provider like Azure AD, Google, and Okta. In some cases, SAML is required. If you are provisioning multiple GitHub enterprise from single IntraID tenant, SAML is required for each additional enterprise after the first one. It's ideal for enterprise application that needs centralized authentication. Compatible with traditional identity provider like Microsoft IntraID, Okta, Pink Federate, and ADFS. If your IDP is not Microsoft IntraID, such as Okta or Pink Federate, then SAML is the only option. So which SSO method should you choose? If your organization uses Microsoft IntraID, YTC is recommended for stronger security, modern authentication, and conditional access policy. If you need to manage multiple GitHub Enterprise from single IntraID tenant, 
SAML is required for all GitHub Enterprise. If your IDP is Okta, Ping Federate, or another provider, SAML is only the option. Since my enterprise manages multiple GitHub Enterprise under the same inter-ID tenant, so I will choose SAML. To proceed with GitHub SAML SSO configuration, we need the sign-on URL, issuer, and public certificate. To retry this, I will log in into portal.azure.com. Navigate to enterprise application, either search it or open it from the shortcut. Click on new application and search template for GitHub Enterprise Managed User. Here you can see four different templates from the marketplace. The first template is for SAML configuration. Next is for OIDC configuration. If you have GitHub Enterprise installed on server, choose GitHub Enterprise Server. For the older GitHub on-premises legacy template is still supported. As I have to configure GitHub EMU with SAML, so I will choose the first template. This template enables SAML authentication and scheme provisioning for GitHub Enterprise Cloud. It allows organization to manage user access through Microsoft Inter-ID ensuring single sign-on with Active Directory user's credentials. The setup is quick and easy. I will open Royal with the application and click Create. This will create an enterprise application that is now ready to collect required information to configure on GitHub Enterprise. Click on Single Sign-on. Here, the first box indicates that Single Sign-on is disabled. So let's click on SAML to start configure. Under single sign-on, click the icon in basic SAML configuration to edit the setting. Let's document the required configuration detail in Notepad. Identifier, reply URL, and sign-on URL. Copy your GitHub Enterprise URL, that will be the identifier. Reply URL will become Enterprise URL and append slash SAML slash consume. In sign-on URL, we generally append SSO at the end of identifier URL. So let's follow the same. Now let me quickly add the identifier. Reply URL and sign-on URL in basic SAML configuration. Click on save. Close the basic SAML configuration. Let's test single sign-on with GitHub Enterprise Manage user. Click test sign in again. At this stage, you may see 404 error, which is expected since the GitHub Enterprise configuration is yet not completed. If you see any other error, double check your SAML setting in Inter-ID and GitHub Enterprise. Now let's edit SAML certificates. From here, download the PEM certificate and save it on your computer. Scroll below. From Setup GitHub Enterprise Manage User section, copy login URL, Microsoft Intra Identifier, and Logout URL into Notepad. Now that we have configured SAML SSO for Enterprise Manage User on your IDP, let's move on configuring GitHub Enterprise. Navigate to the GitHub in SAML Single Sign On where we left earlier. Ensure you log in into GitHub Enterprise as a setup admin using your username in format short code underscore admin. If you are not on this screen, you can navigate by clicking your enterprise from the project menu. In the sidebar, select identity provider and then single sign-on configuration. Before we test, in the enterprise application, navigate to users and group and click on add user group. In the user, filter user with login username and select. In the role, choose enterprise owner role and select. Click on assign. Now let's go back to GitHub Enterprise. Under sign on URL, enter the login URL from enter ID that is noted while configuring IDP. In issuer, enter your Microsoft intra identifier from the nodes. Under public certificate, Copy the entire content and paste in. Click Test SAML configuration to verify settings. Once tested successfully, 
in between it will navigate to github login page and it will return back to saml single sign on configuration page at the bottom you will see the confirmation message passed with successfully authenticated your saml sso identity scroll below and click save saml settings store recovery codes to ensure github enterprise access if your idp become unavailable click on enable saml authentication after you enable saml sso enable provisioning to create manage and deactivate user account for your enterprise members on github enterprise if you are not on this screen from portal.azure.com navigate to enterprise application and select your application go to the provisioning tab click on get started and from the provisioning set the provisioning mode to automatic under admin credential enter your github tenant url that will be https colon slash slash api.github.com slash scheme slash v2 slash enterprise slash your github enterprise name and for the secret token use scheme token we generated earlier then test the connection to ensure microsoft intra id can connect to github enterprise manage user select send an email notification when a failure occurred Turn on the provisioning status. Click save to complete the provisioning process. In this video, we successfully completed the setup of GitHub Enterprise Manage user using Microsoft Intranet with SAML SSO and configured scheme provisioning. In the next video, we'll go deeper into scheme provisioning, exploring how it automate user and group management in GitHub Enterprise and ensure continuous synchronization with Microsoft Intra-ID. Stay tuned. If this video helped you, hit the like button, subscribe for more tutorial, and leave a comment with any question. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.